Hey again, it's Jason from Fraser Valley Rose Farm. Today I want to show off some of the ornamental bark and stems features in my garden. I put in a bunch of willows, I've put in a bunch of dogwoods. I'll show you some pictures of some of the other trees and stems that I've put into the garden that I, I just love the ornamental look of the bark, whether it's uh, emerging a bright orange or red or yellow or uh, the coppery peeling bark of Acer grisium I have behind me here. Uh, these are things that I, I really enjoy year round in my garden. But for some of these, it does require a little bit of maintenance, particularly those dogwood and willow stems I mentioned. And again, I'll, I'll insert some pictures here. They emerge bright in, and, and throughout the season they, they hold their color. It's really the winter they show off their brightest. And then as they start to mature and develop leaves in the spring, they begin to lose that bright coloring and turn more into just a, a, a tan or, or barky color, at which point they're much less interesting. So one thing you can do to that is around this time of year, after they, their leaves are emerging, is you can start removing stems and bring them down to a low level so they shoot a whole bunch of bright new stems. I'm gonna show you how to do that today. And the garden I'm working in today is my winter garden. I did a whole other video on the winter garden previously, but it's the place where I concentrate a whole bunch of the plants that I think are more interesting during the winter time, either for their stem color or because they flower in winter or early spring. And now getting inside of these shrubs here, I hope you can get a good look at what I've done in previous years, which is cut them down to their big thick stems on the trunk down low. And where I've cut them, then they shoot up in all these hundreds and hundreds of bright stems. And these, these are still fairly brightly colored. These are sort of in that yellow to starting to turn green range, uh, but they come up very, very bright yellow and hold that color all the way through the winter if you cut them back this year. The cuts themselves are super easy to do with a hand pruner because it's such soft wood. However, uh, because I want to take it down uh, each year and, and tidy up the base, I usually do it with a saw and I'll just cut down below where some of the cuts were previous year. And one final note, with all of these bright willow stems, and by the way, this variety is Chermazina, uh, then you can take these stems, and if you wanted to make a willow structure, a live fence, or uh, some other willow propagation, this would be a great time to do it when you're taking down all of your plants for their annual prune. Thanks for watching.